Well, more than 40 military cadets are training right now at Wright-Patterson Air Force Base for a type of war that wasn't even imagined just a few decades ago. News reporter Jake Wild digging deeper into how the program is focused on cybersecurity to keep us all safer. Well, it's what looks like a PlayStation controller, and it's a big, big screen TV. It's not a video game. It's the future. Of warfare. More than 40 cadets huddle around their computers, their joysticks, working together on a new cyber battlefield. 15 years ago, if you were going to talk about cybersecurity, most people were thinking about, you know, their, their credit card. Now, a few clicks of a mouse, keyboard strokes. It is like hacking. In fact, um, if a team is skilled, they will be able to hack into and take control of an opposing team's spaceship. Scott Nichol designed a three-dimensional world that cadets are playing. They're college students learning the ins and outs of programming, all to keep our country safe from enemy hackers. After this four-week program, they'll refocus on graduating and becoming military officers. It's just like a basketball game. That employs both cyber offense and cyber defense tactics. But scoring on this game could mean lives saved when they prepare for the real battlefield. So we're able to simulate um, environments that may actually reflect what they will actually experience in the real world. Joseph Schmidt, an Army ROTC cadet, says the simulation is invaluable to keeping us safe from terrorist organizations. See if you can pick up a password that the enemy might be using or um, try and get some kind of information out of them. The program, once marked by budget cuts, is once again soaring. Like, this is awesome. Like, I didn't think I was going to end up here, so I I'm happy. I'm happy with the people that are around me, and I, I think we have awesome instructors, and I'm glad they were able to put something like this together. Jake Ryle, 5 on 2.